Last night I saw Matthew Vaughn's new spy movie, Argyle, and this is my review. This time I'm gonna do things just a little bit differently. In the first half of this review, I'm gonna do no spoilers and let you know what I thought about the movie without you know, ruining anything. And in the second half of the review, I'm gonna put up big spoiler tags and let you guys know I'm gonna talk about spoilers, but this movie has so many interesting things to talk about that I just wanted to make sure that I talked about them here. Chapter times are in the description, so you can skip ahead to whatever topic you're most interested in hearing me talk about. So like I said, Matthew Vaughn directed this and let's just run down his resume real quick. In 04, he did Layer Cake with Daniel Craig and that has to be one of the reasons that Daniel Craig got the James Bond role in the first place. And then he did Stardust, which I'm not too familiar with. He did Kick-Ass in 2010, which is easily one of my favorite superhero movies. Then he did X-Men First Class, which is definitely one of the better entries in the X-Men franchise and it gave that set of movies its second wind. And then there's this Argyle movie, which has an amazing cast. It was led by Henry Cavill, Bryce Dallas Howard, Sam Rockwell. We get great supporting appearances from John Cena, Samuel L. Jackson, Brian Cranston, Catherine O'Hara. This movie is packed. And you have to give props to Jason Fuchs for writing this too. He did a great job. The film follows Argyle jumping from country to country doing all that cool spy stuff that you're hoping to see and subverting expectations along the way. Henry Cavill's character is interesting and his story dovetails into those of others in really cool ways throughout the movie. The film also follows Bryce Dallas Howard's character Ellie Conway who is a famous author of best-selling spy-themed books. While in the midst of writing the newest edition of the series, she finds herself right in the middle of a scenario that would fit right in with one of her bestsellers. And as we see from the trailer, Sam Rockwell's character plays a really big role in this too, and I thought all parties involved did a great job with their characters. Sam Jackson, Brian Cranston, Catherine O'Hara, all had fun and meaningful parts, and even some of the characters with smaller roles all left big impression. The movie has some of the most inventive and irreverent action scenes I can think of in recent memory, and had great fight and action choreography. The scenes all were important to the story and pushed things forward in a meaningful way. And they didn't take themselves too seriously. There were a couple scenes that had specific quirks that I've pointed out in the past as flaws in other movies, but here, I think they did them purposely and they made sense when you see how they fit with the overall narrative that we're being presented with here. And it checked all my boxes with my big four. We got gunfights, knife fights, car chases and explosions. I love all that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna start spoiling stuff now. If you haven't seen the movie yet, thank you for watching to this point. My key takeaways were that I just generally really enjoyed this movie and I think you will too if you like action at all. So maybe you should close this video for now, but before you go, uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Maybe bookmark it so you can come back and finish it up after you've seen the movie and we can talk about it. All right, you've been warned. Man, I didn't see that amnesia angle coming, but they unraveled it so perfectly. I was thinking maybe the mom was really a spy and was feeding her information for her books and maybe that's how all the things in them just kept coming true. I started to know something was up when I was seeing the split personality with her and Henry Cavill in the mirrors and reflections. When Brian Cranston showed up as her father, I was so confused. I didn't know what was going on. Thought maybe some face swapping action was happening like Mission Impossible. I didn't know who she could trust. I loved how the action during some of the Henry Cavill scenes was a little more unrealistic, like how the CG car looked. I thought that was there to further emphasize that this was an embellishment. Even the casting of him and Dua Lipa and John Cena was more of an idealized version of what these characters could look like. 
props to Sam Rockwell. He really held down all the action stuff in the first half of the movie. The train scene, awesome. The abandoned apartment scene, awesome. Once Bryce Dallas Howard started kicking butt too, her action scenes were a little bit more over the top, but I love those too. The color gas scene was so fun and the ice skating one was too through the oil. And I think they both further cemented the romance of Arkayo and Aiden. And how about that mid credit scene? I thought something might be coming up, but I never anticipated that they'd be crossing over this Argyle movie with Vaughn's other Kingsman movies. What a genius. And what do you guys think that rural Henry Cavill character's deal was? That's all just more set up for future movies from Matthew Vaughn hopefully sooner than later. Props to him for successfully setting up his own cinematic universe with these movies. So I obviously really enjoyed this movie. All the actors were kind of perfectly cast for what their roles were. Everything was fun and quippy and never really overly serious. And I loved how the marketing campaign just really did a great job of hiding what the twist was. And hopefully we get plenty more from Matthew Vaughn and this universe sooner than later. So that's my review. Let me know what you thought of Argyle in the comments. Did the twist catch you off guard? If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next one.